Good morning, Pastor Keith Hodges here with The Fruitful Five. Five minutes that will empower and equip you to live a fruitful life for Jesus Christ. Well, I'm excited to be coming to you this morning from uh, our hotel room, me and my wonderful wife Kelly, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We are up here ministering at Word and Worship Church with Pastor Rick Paladin and his wonderful wife Natalie and having an awesome time uh, this weekend. And we're going to be here for the next couple days, so I'm going to be bringing you the Fruitful Five from Pittsburgh. And so we're excited today to be looking at 1 Chronicles chapter 28, verse 20. And in 1 Chronicles 28, uh, King David is actually commissioning his son uh, Solomon. And he's giving him kind of a final charge, a commission uh, for the work that God has called him to do. And so David has taken the remainder of his life and he's begun to accumulate the wealth that is needed to build the temple of God. And God had told King David that he couldn't build the temple because he had been a man of war, but that his son Solomon uh, could build the temple of the Lord. And so David began to accumulate wealth. He began to bring together the gold, the silver, the timber, and everything that his son Solomon would need. What a beautiful picture of what we as fathers are really supposed to do. We're supposed to pave the way for the next generation. What a picture of what we as leaders are supposed to do. We're supposed to pave the way. We're supposed to be preparing, not only leading, but daily preparing for the next generation to come in and take the mantle and begin to raise up the very house of God, to begin to raise up the temple of the Lord and advance the kingdom of God. And so this morning, as we read this story, as David is transitioning uh, the kingdom under the command of his son Solomon, he gives a great word. And today we want to talk about courage. And actually over the next few days, I want to talk to you about four courageous acts, four acts of courage that will transform your life, that will help you to become a fruitful believer in Jesus Christ. So let's read the scripture. 1 Chronicles 28 verse 20 says, Be strong and courageous. Do the work and don't be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord God, my God, is with you and he will not fail you nor forsake you. Let me read that one more time. David said, Be strong and courageous and do the work. How many of you realize we've all got a work to do today? Every one of us this morning, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, there is a holy call upon your life, and there is a divine work that we have all been called to, and we have been called to work the works of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, the works that I do will you do, and greater works than these will you do, because I go to the Father to ever live to intercede for us. And so this morning, we got to understand, first of all, that there is a work that God wants us to do. And listen to what David said, be strong and courageous. Let me tell you something this morning. Nothing great ever happens without courage. Nothing great is ever accomplished without a courageous heart. And, and today I hope that my prayer is that God would take this message and infuse a courageous spirit on the inside of you. Infuse a spirit of faith and courage that will rise up and do the work that God has called us to do. So nothing great happens without courage. And David said, be strong and courageous and do the work. Don't be afraid or discouraged for the Lord God, my God, is with you. Understand this, courage is not, courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is the willingness to do it afraid. That's what courage is. Courage is not the absence of fear. I have yet, come, I have yet to come to a place where I'm not afraid of new things. This weekend I was ministering in Pittsburgh and it was my first time to minister at these churches and, and there's a lot of anticipation and expectation and you want to be a blessing and you want to bring the word of the Lord and you want to do the things and not only please God, but you want to honor the church and the pastor. And so there's always this anticipation and really a fear that wants to try to come on us every time we do something new. Every time you step into a new venture, there is a fear that wants to grip you in order to keep you locked into the past. Understand that fear locks you down in yesterday, but courage catapults you into your tomorrow. Courage is what releases you into the potential and the purpose that God has for your life. And so we understand that courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is the willingness to do it afraid, the willingness to step out in faith and confidence that God is our strength and our source. And that's what I want to say to you today. The source of our courage is God's presence in our lives. Listen to what David said. Don't be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord God, my God, is with you. And he will not fail you, and he will not forsake you. The, course, the, the source of our courage today is the presence of God. How can we do what we have to do even when we're afraid? We can do it because God is with us. We can do it because God won't forsake us. 
We can do it because God won't fail us. Think about that. We can step out into new arenas in our life. We can step into new relationships, new opportunities. We can step into signs, wonders, and even miracles. We can step into the supernatural power of God. We can step in to a new job. We can step in to a new arena of life. And we can do it all courageously. Why? Because God is with us. When God calls you to go somewhere you've never gone, or God calls you to do something you've never done, the way that we draw upon our courage is our courage comes out of the revelation that we know that God is with us. And that not only is God with us, God will never forsake us and God will never fail us. So I want to encourage you this morning to begin to wrap your mind and settle your heart on the revelation that God is with you. God will never forsake you and God will never fail you. Therefore, you and I can walk in courage. God bless you today as you live a courageous life in Jesus' name.